What it is, what it ain't, you already know it's Top Cat 100 going hard in the paint, the real fear TV, which you know you tuned into. Let's go, don't get it out of the way. Shout out to the whole 100 mob, man. I'm back up in here. You already know what it is. All the love is saluted and giving back out. You already know what it is. To all my haters, your call on the regular smells like corned beef hash. Your remote nose KRS one shot G, Jay Z, Craig, Matt Face say as niggas. Yeah, that's how I'm getting it in. It don't matter how I'm coming. Your sister has kangaroo legs, brother. So I don't care if you don't care about that. Somebody need to go take her to the veterinarian or somebody that's dealing with wildlife out here because the girl running loose. She all over the streets. Now, with that being said, man, we need to talk about this King Von situation, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because I had to come at y'all like that, man. As far as my haters, the hundred mob is behind me at all times, man. It don't matter whether I'm right or wrong. They gonna stand behind me, brother. You understand what I'm talking about? Now, y'all always talking about how I'm trying to put people against each other and all this. Y'all don't see all the mediation and all of the things that I bring to the table. So, we gotta sit here and we gotta keep it all way official with y'all real quick because at first y'all always kept talking about how since King Von was seen with NBA young boy baby mother that it was no problem it wasn't nothing there and they was just here to do this and do that because that's what he said out his mouth a lot of people a lot of people don't lie to people you see what I'm saying they tell you the wrong thing to keep you out of their business so now that Lil Dirk came out and he said what I've been saying in all of these videos now y'all want me to double back and do a video on this come on man this video is really old you see what i'm saying so this is why i had to come at on this angle because it's like now y'all want me to speak on this so bad and that's why i let that much time pass because it's the same thing i've been saying i don't think Lil dirk is wrong at all for what he's saying i think he very right but at the same time he got people around him that he need to check as far as you know how they conduct themselves on social media as well so nobody's in the right all the way but what you can say is the man that's saying it as far as little dirt he has no stains on his jacket because he stopped doing that a long time ago he elevated but at the same time he's still perpetuating it through music so that doesn't make him all the way right but this is what i've been saying about nba young boy in all these videos but everybody kept saying oh you're showing favoritism you're hating why you don't never know it's because we like his music so we want to try to see him not get caught up you see what i'm saying so he can keep doing music but see y'all want to get on little dirt now and say that oh well he throwing shots at NBA young boy. He doing this, he doing that. He was actually just saying something that everybody been saying, bro. Now, here's the thing about NBA young boy. He gonna do what he wanna do. You understand what I'm saying? He's a boss at a younger age than a lot of us was. You see what I'm saying? Or if any of us ever was bosses. You get what I'm saying? And I'm just speaking. Now, because I just want people to understand that, you know, they shut down his IG come to find out because it was damn near a gun show, people say. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I was trying to say that all law enforcement got their pages up on ig some of them choose to not make it known some people have blank pages but they still law enforcement and this goes back into what everybody's saying just stop ratting on yourself at the end of the day you know what i'm saying now y'all want me to make this video and try to say that you know is he taking shots at him and everything no that's just a straightforward answer you see what i'm saying because y'all never wanted to admit that these people had friction before so don't try to get me to come up on a video and try to you know what i'm saying go off of another narrative now it's not that bro i've been told you that they didn't see eye to eye regardless you see what i'm saying and he's talking about well they not beefing for real and this and all that the same way y'all say this person ain't beefing with that person but tell nba young boy to go to old block and, and ask King Vaughn to do a song with him. Know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, tell King Vaughn to go around NBA Youngboy Click and say, what's up with y'all, man? Let me do a song with you and see what happens. I guarantee Sonic Rings get to fly from somewhere. You see what I'm saying? And then you're going to be looking around like, oh, well, it was real. You see what I'm saying? It's just because a lot of people don't broadcast their differences. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know each other like that. Yeah, they had words from back in the day. But the video that I put out, speaking of... You know, the things that NBA Youngboy says on the slide, y'all just was like, oh, he making up stuff. So this is why I really didn't want to do this video. You know what I'm saying? Now, NBA Youngboy is an artist that got 
hella gold albums, you know what I'm saying? You know, he got platinum albums, three times platinum, and all kind of stuff. You get what I'm saying? He got a lot to lose. He got a lot to look forward to. He feeding a lot of families. I'm not going to say that every video. You know what I'm saying? It seems like NBA Youngboy fans, like, you know, y'all cannot just be fans and likers of the music. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't know what fans is and what fan, the word fans derived from. Fans is short. Well, fan is short for fanatic. I am a fanatic of nobody. You know what I'm saying? And y'all shouldn't be either. Y'all should enjoy the music and enjoy anything else that comes along with the music. And that's real talk because the music is made universally for everybody. So all of this success that he having, you know what I'm saying? It will continue to happen as long as he keep them ratchets out them videos, bro. And all these hothead niggas. And that's real talk because you know one thing. When you get behind the wall, bro, you behind there by yourself, bro. Half of these niggas not going to write you. They not going to accept no calls, bro. This is the cliche. If we going to talk about one side, I got to hear people talk about the bad side, too. And that's a lot of what's wrong with the rap music and days, too. Because you're not talking about all the sides. So, like, you're going to ball. You're going to hustle. You're going to get the women. You're going to do all this. But what about when you're sitting up in there, up on that hard steel cot? You see what I'm saying? You know, and it smell like straight booty, man. You know what I'm saying? You like, man, come on, bro. I'm trying to go to the crib. You know what I'm saying? And the magistrate just keep telling you, boy, get what? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reduced bond. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying, getting on your own reconnaissance. Ain't no none of that, you know what I'm saying? Your own hole, you know what I'm saying? And then they gonna come get you and take it somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta sit here and you gotta think about what you post and what you perpetuate. You can't keep putting it on this artist and that artist, you know what I'm saying? Dirt was only calling out what he seen and what he was supposed to. And y'all being supposed to be fans, supposed to do the same thing when you see somebody doing something silly. You get what I'm saying? Real talk. He clearly smoking a lot of Joes because, man, he got a lot on his mind. He got a lot of plates to fill up. So I don't want to hear no more about this, bro, as far as I'm concerned. If Lil Dirk and NBA Youngboy wanted to be known that they got beef, trust me, you'll know it. You know what I'm saying? So don't try to put Chicago against Louisiana or none of that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't how we rocking right now. Now, and that's real talk. It's a lot of people that need to know about what's going to go on on the other side, you know? Can't keep being blind to the fact that, you know, people don't have problems just because they don't announce it up on social media. You know, it's always competition and, you know, people being competitive. And if anybody know anything about the rap game or anything that got to do with Chicago, they've been petty, um, competitive for a long time since the beginning. So we don't want to make it like that this is a situation where, you know, dirt threw shots at him. It was basically just tell him, you know, his peer to stay on point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You got to stay on point, man. It don't matter what he's supposed to say at nice. You can't say nothing nice to a nigga like NBA young boy. You already know that. So it's no use to be sitting up here acting like peanut butter and jelly ass niggas, man, just because y'all didn't get it the way y'all wanted to hear it, man. Be a southern fried gangster about it, man. With that being said, man, I'm out, man.